So this is a recap of the end of turn four because when I made that recording, I had my settings wrong and it's just audio, me talking about things on a black screen. So fortunately, that wasn't a super long video, didn't miss a lot. And so here's what happened at the beginning of that last video, the American Cobras had been activated and we had to decide where to bring them in. Um, <clears throat> I don't think the solo assistant says anything about where to bring forces in. I think that's a player decision. And so I was thinking that down here the East Germans have consolidated this bridgehead and they're getting ready to move. I continue to believe that I have not done a very good job of deploying these forces here to try to be an effective defense. Uh, this unit over here of Americans is uh, pretty badly mauled already. One of their three Abrams platoons is completely eliminated. And the East Germans have this big infantry force coming down here. And so I think I've just uh, kind of blown this for the Americans in a lot of ways, but I had to decide what to do with the helicopters. So they could have come in down here and taken uh, shots at the East German tanks. And at the time, all of these units were ops complete, so they would not have faced any anti-aircraft fire. But this right here is a dedicated anti-aircraft unit and a relatively effective one. And the American helicopters uh, in this scenario have uh, pilot fatigue, and so they only have one formation card. And the other option one other option was to try to get the, the helicopters to come across here and take on the East German infantry, which would have been a juicy target mounted up like this. But the it would have taken a turn. They would have had to use up an entire turn just to get there. The other option is to go after this reserve force of Soviet T-80 tanks here. And that's what I decided to do. They were also ops complete at the time. So I thought that given the helicopter fatigue and the infrequent activation that they'll have, that the commander decided, look, my pilots are worn down. We don't want to expose them to too much any aircraft fire now. We're going to try to smash this reserve force of Soviet tanks, which will have no real defense. They don't have any dedicated anti-aircraft assets. They, they, they do get to shoot at the helicopter some, but Generally speaking, uh, this seems like a pretty good plan. And so the helicopters flew in and took some pot shots, and they completely eliminated a platoon of T-80s. So the one platoon is gone. That's the end of the turn. Um, and so, so that's what happened at the end of turn five. So to keep my video sequence together, I'm just going to end things there. I also of note uh, this this American infantry formation that I think I squandered um, they they actually had a number of support weapons available that I just forgot about and never assigned and so I did a little cheat code thing and I gave the disrupted infantry this uh, the tow uh, which is a pretty powerful weapon, and if they can get undisrupted, they could raise some hay with the East Germans trying to come down here. They're in cover. The headquarters reduced, but at this point, there's only one unit to worry about. And in at the beginning of turn six, the Americans get some air support. The A-10 is a very powerful platform. So that's where things stand at the end of turn five and I believe I pulled the first card I did so the so the first formation that will be active at the beginning of turn six is the a company fifth of the eighth uh, the reinforcements that have just one infantry platoon and a reduced strength headquarters available all right so that is that and I will move on to the next video in just a minute